Welcome to Wiki Africa Hour, where Africa's Wikimedians talk to, learn from, and discuss with each other topics they choose. Each session is curated by African Wikimedians to expand Africa's open movement. Today's host is Ceslas Obanyaya. were the highlights of your tenure as the CEO of uh, Wikimedia Foundation and the things you were probably most proud of? Um, I think, I, I mean, I, I'm really, really proud of the Universal Code of Conduct and the fact that we all worked together as a movement to get that through. I know it hasn't been easy and I know that it's required a lot of discussion and I know it's brought people who didn't always agree into some difficult conversations and dialogue. Um, and you know, much of that wasn't even, I, I wasn't often in those conversations. So that's really work that the movement has done together. Uh, the other piece that I'm, I feel really proud of is the strategic direction for 2030 and how that process of having conversations really um, not only got us to something that I think is an aspirational strategic direction that really captures where we are as a movement right now, talking about issues of knowledge equity, thinking about the essential infrastructure of free knowledge for the future, but, but was a way in which we were very intentional about ensuring that members of our community from every community, from every part of the world, from all different language groups, were well represented in the conversation and the ways in which I've seen that strength of representation turn into leadership of different communities at the global level. So now let's move on to the kind of training actually that are available for photographers. Wiki doesn't just expect you to go about taking photographs. They also have a window for trainings for photographers. Ladies and gentlemen, make welcome uh, Minette from Nojada. Hello, Salas. Minette, you're welcome once again. There are a lot of African Wikimedians probably don't know what the uh, Nojadan initiative is about. How do you explain what Nojadan is all about to, to, to them in your own personal ways? Hello. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Good evening, everyone. Yes, uh, as I was saying, it's a project that was uh, initiated by um, a Swiss organization called White Internet. And uh, the objective of the, of the training is, uh, is to train professional and non-professional photographers in Cameroon on the, what is uh, the free culture all about, how to, uh, I mean, how to take good pictures. So there was also a master class in photography to, in order to train the, the participant on how to, to take quality pictures and improve their skills in photography. And uh, the, the, third, uh, the third part of the project will be a photo exhibition that will take place in, uh, that's in October, that's planned for October. So that's uh, a, like, like a summary of what the, the No Jardin project is all about. So it's really about training the, the people who contribute to commons on how to get the skill to do better contributions. First time. What motivated you to put up your name? D'accord. Donc, euh, pour moi, c'est important de d'intégrer, comme je le disais tout à l'heure, la, la, le conseil d'administration. Moi, je ne viens pas dans un esprit de peut-être euh, emmener à changer ce qui existe déjà, c'est-à-dire à changer ce qui est déjà fait par d'autres communautés. Par, par, je veux dire, les autres membres euh, du conseil qui ont travaillé précédemment. Mais l'idée, c'est d'apporter une, euh, d'apporter de l'aide, d'apporter une plus-value, pourquoi pas, 
et dans la communauté, puisque la communauté est diversifiée et on a plusieurs, plusieurs compétences. Chaque personne, selon son domaine de compétences, peut apporter euh, son aide. Donc pour moi aujourd'hui, euh, en intégrant la, le, le, comment dire, le conseil d'administration, ce que moi je souhaiterais, c'est que on puisse emmener la communauté en général à travailler plus à l'intégration des personnes, par exemple, euh, qui ne comprennent pas la langue anglaise. What is the role of the steering committee? And I mean, can anyone join? And how is the location for these Wikimedia conferences chosen? So the steering committee uh, has, personally, I think, has a very major role of uh, assuring that uh, Wikimania takes place. Uh, so I think the main task of the steering committee is uh, to uh, make sure that every year we uh, again organize uh, Wikimania. Of course, uh, uh, there's the selection process, but it's really uh, moving forward, guarantee that this event continue because it is important for the community. It's a uh, responsibility to be part of this, uh, this committee of programming with my colleagues, with Anna, uh, Ludovic and uh, all the other uh, volunteers. Um, we, I would like first. I would like to say thank thanks to all the volunteers who who helped us to uh, to uh, to select the session to be part of the program. And it was not easy an easy task because we had we received many submissions. We have received more than two hundred submissions, and uh, many of them are very interesting. And we had to select some because we have some limitation at the time. So it was not easy an easy uh, task to select the the, the, the accepted sessions. But uh, we we try to select the maximum. So uh, on, so we selected uh, uh, more than 170 sessions to be part of the program, whether live or pre-recorded or on demand. Uh, so also we we tried when selecting the session to have a diversified content, diversified topics, diversified also diversity in terms of gender of the presenters. And also to to respect the time zone of the presenter to have uh, to allocate uh, the session to the different time zone to to make this Wikimania accessible for uh, for all the Wikimedians around the world. Okay, I chose this format because, at the base, I am a cinéaste, so who says film or says history. So, behind each video, I try to fait voyager le téléspectateur avec moi, euh, fait découvrir quelque chose, euh, montrer ce qu'il y a de, de particulier dans mon pays ou continent. Donc c'est un peu comme ça à chaque fois, je, je refais les mêmes choses. Alors, euh, l'initiative Nos Jardins m'a, comme je l'ai dit, ça m'a remis, ça m'a redonné l'envie de, de partager, de contribuer gratuitement euh, avec les, les travaux et avec, euh, euh, de partager aussi mes connaissances. Mais à côté, euh, pour la petite histoire, nous avions été... Euh, l'un de, de la première promotion Wikipédia ici au Cameroun, en fait, ceux qui avaient participé comme apprenants. Et donc, euh, ça faisait très longtemps que, voilà, j'avais un tout petit peu mis de côté euh, les projets euh, Wikipédia. Et Nos Jardins m'a redonné envie de, de, de me remettre un tout petit peu là-dessus. Donc, c'est vrai qu'on est, on est souvent un tout petit peu occupé par... Euh, puisque le contexte nous, nous soumet à certaines pressions. Mais euh, je pense que c'était une très belle initiative, vraiment. Parce que euh, moi, moi, actuellement, j'arrive je, je, déjà à, à, en fait, grâce à ce que j'ai appris, hein, à mettre des informations sur, sur Wikipédia, à partager, à faire des recherches. À, en fait, j'arrive aussi à comprendre que c'est... 
c'est pas seulement qu'une plateforme de partage, mais c'est aussi une plateforme où, euh, où on apprend beaucoup, où, euh, où on retrouve l'humain, si je peux dire ça comme ça. Parce que euh, avant tout, c'est l'humain en fait qui, qui me parle plus. So, um, you know, um, the code um, is um, a very strong text and um, by good drafting, um, I think it will become living and uh, it will ameliorate um, the everyday life of the contributor because when you write a code, it's not enough. Um, you must also provide clear guidelines for people who have to apply the code, who have to mediate, to judge cases, sometimes to sanction or uh, to escalate uh, escalate a case, make an appeal, etc. So um, the drafting process um, and the document which will come from this um, drafting process um, is important and we have a great responsibility um, because there are a lot of parameters to take in account. Uh, as you know, uh, Wikipedia and the spaces of Wikimedia are um, very uh, complicated uh, spaces. So um, it takes uh, a little bit of uh, work to that everything is covered uh, in the draft. I, I think the major themes um, that um, you know, when we think about the funds we launch and, and the changes that you're seeing, we have uh, four major themes. The first one is that we are transitioning towards a grant program that focuses on areas of uh, the desired impact. So moving away from um, uh, structures uh, or processes that to some extent might have limited uh, participation or uh, people being part in the movement or being people accessing uh, resources to support them in being part of the movement. The other key thing is around decentralization, that, that, that we want to distribute power sharing uh, with the regional focus, uh, hence the regional committees, and we will be talking about that uh, more later. And then equity being central uh, to every element uh, of the relaunch and its success. And that also speaks to us uh, making a commitment to having a sub substantial increase in funding to underrepresented communities. And the fourth thing, looking at beyond funding, recognizing that beyond we need you know, to build capacity, we need to create spaces for people to learn and exchange um, uh, ideas across affiliates and community members. With me today is Candy uh, Kohiwe. Um, she will be joining me to, of course, give highlights on what we have in the news section. Hello, Candy. Hi, Cecilus. We say a big congratulations to the newlywed uh, wiki couple, Nasima and Yemen. Uh, they got married uh, recently. If there's anything that's enough reason to take your wiki engagement more seriously, guys, the love of your life could be hiding somewhere in the movement. So you need to engage more to find them. Candy. Thank you, Cecilis. Um, so Mariana Eskander has been appointed as the new CEO of the Wikimedia Foundation. She's, the, she's an Egyptian-born American social entrepreneur and lawyer. She lives in South Africa, but is expected to move to the US to start her new role um, officially in the Wikimedia Foundation um, on the 5th of January, 2022. She will be on one of our Wiki Africa Hour episodes in the near future. So make sure you are subscribed to the Wiki in Africa YouTube channel to not miss this um, episode. This 
episode of Wiki Africa Hour was hosted by Seslaus Obanaya. Let us know what topics you want to discuss and join us next month on the same channels. Subscribe to the Wiki in Africa YouTube channel and follow Wiki Africa on social media.